Metal Gear Solid 4 was a masterpiece, and I'm not saying that just because I think it's the best video game of all time. When I first got a PS3 back in 2009, I picked up Metal Gear Solid 4. I'd never played a Metal Gear game before then. I just heard it was pretty good, so hey, why not, let's try it out. I played this game for, I don't know how long. It was amazing. I obviously had to get used to all the stealth, seeing as this was pretty much my first stealth based game. The storyline of Metal Gear Solid 4 was so unique, and the characters, I can't tell you how much I like Liquid Ocelot's character. After playing the game from start to finish, I knew I'd love the Metal Gear series. I even went onto Wikipedia just so I could make sense of some of the stuff I missed out on by not playing the previous games. After finishing it, I knew I'd never play a better video game, and truthfully, I feel like I haven't played a better game than Metal Gear Solid 4. So. Much. Win. Metal Gear Solid 4 is set in various locations in 2014. You go from Afghanistan, where war has changed, to South America, Europe, and even back to Shadow Moses, where it all began. And to make things even more interesting, you play as an aging Solid Snake. And the whole gang is back. We see Roy Campbell, Merrill, Naomi, Otacon, a cyborg Raiden, and heck, even Mei Ling is back. So Roy Campbell has recently showed up and asks for Snake's help to assassinate Liquid. Not Liquid Snake, it's Liquid Ocelot, who still thinks he's Liquid. You of course agree to help, seeing as you're going to die within a year due to the accelerated aging. Why not, right? And you go through so many tasks while trying to stop Liquid. From saving Naomi, to stopping the BNB group, and to top it all off, every little bit of this game finds some way to relate to the previous games in the series. It was not just a video game, it was also an interactive movie. And we all know how much of a master of this Hideo Kojima is. And some moments in the game were just so heart attack inducing. The Metal Gear vs Metal Gear battle being one of them. And the moment you have to go through the microwave chamber was so intense, I've never felt more fatigued after playing a game than at that moment. And the final battle, you vs Liquid, Snake vs Snake all over again. That was a Krabby Patty formula to this game, the thing that just made the product better than anything else. I didn't understand how amazing this battle was until I went and played the original Metal Gear Solid. The ending to the game was remarkable as well. I won't ruin it for you, but man, did it produce some emotions. This whole game was a goddamn emotion inducing video game, and I loved it. Every minute of it. So if you have not played Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots yet, I highly recommend you do.